Hello and welcome back Movie Robin Saber fans. Today I'd like to show you in this video a new run that I've made in cooperation with Endor Armory. And yes, we built for them and the customers who were in the run, um, we built 10 Saber Pikes for the Shadow Guards from the Force Unleashed. And yeah, in this video I'd like to show you what you get and how the pikes how you put the pikes together and what's all in the box and I wish you a lot of fun. First, for everybody to know, the pike comes unassembled. So, you get it in four pieces. These are the blade, the upper section, the middle section, and the lower section. These are must be all assembled by some screws that are here. These are M2 screws, but to that we come later. The Saber Pike comes with a removable chassis. You can see it here. We marked the, the battery symbols here that you don't insert, hopefully not the battery in the wrong way. So, and um, yeah, for for German customers, we include an 18615 battery. Here you can see a little a little tape on it. Um, this is for yeah for easier removing the battery. And let me let me show you how you have to insert this. Here's the positive, and here's the positive. So you insert the battery with the minus first and then push it down. If you, if you like, you can rotate the battery a little bit and that's all. Here is a kill switch. At the marked position, it is on. So you have to turn it on, bring the switch in the upper position where the point is. That's all. Now this here is ready. And now in the next step, then I show you how you have to insert it. But first, the pike set comes with an 1.5 Allen wrench key. This here must be used on, yeah, on this on the on the screws here at the top one for the for the blade retention yeah so here's the blade retention screw then you have a screw here to put that together the screw is here you can see it here this section also have here the one button and on the lower part here is a mark. This is then for the lower section. Here in this section is the speaker. You can see it here. The speaker gets holded by this tiny screw here. And 
this upper screw is for the fixation for the middle section. So, um, it's not recommend to remove the other screws. Only use the screws where I show you now how you have to yeah, put it all together. The set also comes with a yeah, battery charger and an instruction guide how you have to press the button to switch the fonts or change the colors or um, change the volume level. So, and again, I don't, I don't know if I, if I told you that um, the, 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 the battery comes only for the German customers. Um, for international customers, the battery will be removed and the customers have to purchase this battery yeah, by themselves because um, it's, it's, yeah, horrible how high the shipping costs are when I send it with a battery. So the easiest way is I um, reduce the invoice because I send it without a battery and I give each customer a link where, he, where they can buy in a shop in their near um, and, and yeah, special battery for this. So this is, yeah. It's it's not the best way, but it's the best way to save some costs for for the customers. Yeah. So and now we put all together. So for assembling, first you take the the upper section. You you can see it that it's the upper section because on the inside here is the NeoPixel PCB. And yeah, the first is you, you, you turn the chassis on while bringing the switch in the position where the point is. Then you take the middle section and insert the chassis with the normal PCB inside here. That's all. After that, you bring these two sections together. Here's the mark and here's the screw. Then you bring that together. And fix that with the 1.5 Allen wrench key. Important for putting this together, um, you you have to make sure that the screw is in the market position. Um, you can you can check that when the screw when the screw is not really tightened, then you can rotate it a little bit, and then you you feel where where the screw is, and after that you fix it strong and then there is no movement here any longer. So let us go to the lower section. So here, same procedure. This is the lower section. You have here an, an speaker contact inside from Stock Custom Works. And that's an, an two bin Pogo connector. And now you bring it in the same position here to the market section with, with the screw. Bring that both together. Not over tighten it, just make a short test. Then you can move here a little bit to see if it's in the correct position. And after that, you can tighten the screw. So that's all and now we come to the blade. The pike not really needs the blade to work. So you can turn it on and it works without the blade as well. So, but now you have here at the top 
the blade retention screw. Easily put the blade inside completely. And then you have here a little clicking. So you, so you have to, to insert the blade in the full way and hold it here. And then you have to tighten the screw. That's all. And now it should work. Yes. So then let me now guide you to the functions. It's very easy to change the font. If you like to change the font, press and hold for one second the button and then release it. Shadow Guard. That's now sound font one. It's called Shadow Guard and it's from Blue Mamba. So, and now you have the normal functions is clash. Last of Lock up. Turn off, press and hold the button till it's off. You also have the possibility to use the gesture controls. You can turn it on by swing, then you are in the same mode as shown now. But when you ignite it with a twist, then you are directly in the battle mode. Battle mode is when you clash. The, the pike, then you already in the lockup mode without holding the button, and it it goes outside when you move the pike. Same is for the step effect. Then you activate melt, and when you twist the pike. You can change the color at the tip. And moving, then it goes off. And you can repeat that with a um, with blast fix, but it's hard to show you um, with this long pike. It's not possible here in this room. But um, yeah, these are the functions. So when you want to ignite the hilt with music you have to double click the button before the ignition so i do a double click Luke. now it's in loop mode um, when you want that it's place not in loop then you have to to place the blade in the top direction and then you have to press double press the button then the track gets only played one time so when you hold it normal in in yeah in an, in, an, in a normal way then then um, it gets in the loop mode Luke. yeah so that's font one now let us talk about the second sound font it's called Battle One and it's a free font from Carbophonic Fonts. And when I ignite now the, the pike, a flash comes. You can see that here. And then you have here the same functions. With other sounds. Yeah. And to play the music track double click the button so I I do not show here the sound the music tracks because of license problems or something 
and so that's why I only show you the sound. Let us talk about font 3. It's called Battle 2 and it's also a free font made by Carbophonic Fonts. Here you have a static blade. The other two blades have light flickering and the second one have a flash while the ignition. And this here is a static red blade as you can see. And you have here the same functions. What I showed you here is a um, force lightning. You can activate it by double click and hold the button. This is the normal lockup and this is the blaster base. Now we come to sound font 4. You hear on um, R2-D2 sound and when I turn now on the pipe you see we have here a static red but without sounds. Here are all functions included in the same way like the other fonts use that but all without sounds. I've made this here by a special request for all and um, yeah, you can use it when sounds are not allowed or when you do a sh while you're doing a photo shooting or something and yeah, some people feel more comfortable when they don't have sounds. So, and to turn off, twist or hold the button like you want. So, now we switch back to font one. Shadow God. Here I like to show you the color change function. For that you have to ignite the blade and while the blade is on you have to quad clicking fast the one button. Let me show you. Like I said, four times. Red, white, Navajo white, lemon chiffon. And then, while you in the menu, you can twist the hilt to switch circle to the colors. So, I like to show you how you can save that. Orange, red, dark orange, orange. So now we have an orange, and to save it, only press the button one time. So now you have here a yellow blade, and to change it back to red, easily open the menu and go back to red. Red. And then click the button. That's all. Let me demonstrate now the volume menu. You can access this menu while holding the button and clash the pipe. Enter volume menu. By twisting to the right side, you, you bring the volume to a higher level. Maximum volume. Now it's maximum and when you twist it to the left side, you make it lower to minimum. So, but in this case, we go to max and I go to back and then I save it by pressing the button. So this is, in my opinion, the best setup that the Pike makes no wrong clashes or something because when you make the volume too high then the speaker can do a crispy sound in some cases and um, 
the pike maybe produces um, yeah wrong clashes or something because of vib vibrations in the pike yeah so this level as configured is in my opinion the best way but you can change if you like and um, now you know how you have to access the menu the last step that i like to show you is to activate or deactivate the gesture controls not everybody uh, like that yeah and so we have here the possibility to to activate or deactivate this function so for deactivating press and hold the button and do a twist gestures off you hear it and now when you twist the pipe nothing happens now let me show you how to activate it same step hold the button and do a twist gestures on now the gestures are on again and you can activate and use functions without pressing the button yeah the pike um, will be sent with active gesture controls and yeah for all who don't want that they know now how you how they can deactivate it so that's all we are done i come back to to everything that's inside the box we have here the guide so i open it shortly here you have all functions explained in normal mode and in battle mode and how you access the menus this is inside the box but i've sent everybody this here in an um, yeah, pdf file then you get an charger the allen wrench key to access the three screws and also included is a card from myself with the website and on the back side they are my address and email if you like to contact me when you have any problems then easily contact me and then we have here some bonus cards from the 501st of myself here is the Injarin and from my good friend Oliver here in his clone trooper yeah that's all for now thanks for watching everybody I wish them yeah a lot of fun with the pikes and I box now all and send them out hopefully in the next week if you have any questions leave me a comment in the section here from the video and if you like give me a thumb or yeah subscribe my channel see you next time bye bye